This pair on its own, 55.99 plus postage, 42.49 plus postage. They've gone for 30 pound 59. So great markup again. Sold women its first cycle for 299.99, 300 pound plus a bit of postage. What's up Tatsters, I'm back. Had a nice week off of filming at boot sales. I took a little break from that. Then I had a little mini break, a staycation with the family down in uh, Somerset, sort of Devon Way. A family vlog should be coming out on that if you're interested in that sort of thing. But yeah, uh, recharged the batteries, raring to go. And I thought I'd start with a little what sold over my sort of staycation video. So obviously with eBay, I had to put my store on holiday mode. This states that I'm away for a few days, uh, won't be returning to a certain date. So in theory, that should put off buyers really but I found that I was still selling stuff and sold a couple of high ticket items as well to share with you, so that'll be good. If you're on new around here, my name is George Ross. The channel here is Retro Reselling. I basically buy and sell all kinds of secondhand items, mainly, sometimes new. Buy them cheap, and then the aim is to sell them online for a profit. Uh, that's my business, that's how I keep a roof over my head. This type of video, I'm in my storage unit where I keep all my items that I've bought to obviously sell online. Got a GoPro, got a head mount, I'm gonna strap you onto here, gonna show you what the item is, what I picked it up for, whereabouts I picked it up from, and most importantly, what I sold it for. So let's not dilly dally, there's a few items, 12 or so items to get through. Let's get you on my head and pick out the items. And the first item is actually an Instagram sale. This was back Monday morning. Uh, this was from Georgina, so thanks Georgina for this sale. Got a set of Tots TV plush toys. They're already bagged up here. Picked these up from a boot sale. This was only on Wednesday, so I've had them for less than a week. Uh, they owed me 10, 12 pound, I think it was. I can't quite remember. I had them listed on eBay for only 29.99, so not the best markup. I paid up a little bit. I thought it'd be worth a bit more, but they're actually from 2004, so newer models, not from like 1994, which would be ideal. I do a subscriber special sale type thing on my Instagram. Uh, obviously, asking 30 on eBay, asked 25 plus postage on Instagram, so a little mark down there. Obviously, they're new. I paid up anyway, and Georgina bought these up. So thanks, Georgina, and you also. Every subscriber sale gets a free reselling and progress badge. Thanks so much. All right, let's do a standard sale. This was actually from today. Bought a couple of these Technic speakers. I think it was like two pounds at a boot sale. Sold the bigger one. Uh, sold that a couple of weeks ago. Sold this last one, 10 pound plus postage. There should be a set of three, but I got just a pair. Sold them as uh, spares, repairs. Um, obviously they're working, but like if someone's got a set of three, one goes faulty, they can then replace it with this one. So yeah, not a major markup, but from two pound, way into profit that I sold the other one with. So yeah, uh, easy to pack as well. Bought a video camera that will be at the end. So that was the biggest markup. But within the bag was a load of tapes that I split out. Found this in the bag. It's just a Sony mini DV cleaner like tape. Like it cleans the head or supposed to clean the head. Or is this just a tape? And I think inside it might be a brush or something. So as it goes around, gives the head a little clean. Sold it as used, but looks brand new. No, not a mark on it. Was chucked in with it. Had no intention of this being in the bundle when I bought it off Facebook. And it's gone for $9.99 plus a little bit of postage. Large letter, easy peasy, uh, Brucey bonus in there. This was a bit of RA. Bought this from a home base sale. Home base had a clearance. Uh, this was a month or two ago. They stuck around a little bit, longer than I thought. Got three of these Stanley toolboxes. They open out both ways. So that way. And this way, like a butterfly, put your tools and kit in. They owed me £15 each. I have got sort of 45 for the first one, 40 for the second. And this one went out at 35 19 So yeah, again, uh, not the biggest markup, but brand new item. One listing, multiple quantity. Yeah, not bad, but might not be in a rush to do it again because they're quite big and bulky and took longer than I thought to sell. But they're gone anyway. This is from another recent boot sale and sold quickly got this windbreaker like vintage windbreaker basically peg it in the ground at the beach or when you're camping stops the wind from blowing you about this one looked like it had never been used this is that from the 70s uh, made for Woolworths which is cool uh, FW Woolworth and Co original like advertising thing there really cool I'm pretty sure it was unused but yeah where this is exposed obviously in a garage for like 30 plus years 40 years or so um, obviously a bit of wear here and to the spikes as well. So I sold it as used, but said in the description, pretty sure it's new and unused. 
uh, owes me ten pound and it's gone for thirty pound fifty nine. So not bad. Like a bit of black shrink wrap around it, and off it goes. Nice quick sale as well. Something a little different here. This was from my Thursday boot sale. I don't go to very much. I've only ever been to it twice. This was the second time round. Got this clock with a mirror as well. I think it was five pound all in. Uh, so yeah, with the mirror, this owes me three or four pounds. Not much at all. Nice bargain. Really nice thing. Coral, like 1970s design. Brass, wood, all works. Just a battery, nothing too special. Got to be careful when packing it. This is glass. So yeah, nice padding. Use polystyrene sheets as well. Pad it right out. Make sure it gets there safely. So my three or four pounds turned into £25.49 plus a bit of postage. I thought I'd get a little bit more ideally, but maybe this design sort of wasn't as sort of hot as a starburst or sunburst design, like metal, like things coming off. They're highly desirable. This one, not so much, but still my profit to be made and which I did make. Now this was a deal. Um, I didn't film at this boot sale. I picked up a bag full of sort of cycling shoes for 25 pounds, seven pairs in there. And this pair alone, it's gone for 55.99 shimano i think i'm saying that right are 260 carbon cycling shoes so you go pay 25 pound for seven pairs so each pair is me about three pound 50. this pair on its own 55.99 plus postage absolutely awesome i see these here and there sort of at charity shops boot sales different as much money in them but certain types like there's i think this bottom bit's made of carbon fiber which is a really light material and could be quite expensive. Just shows if you know what you're looking for, plenty of money to be made. And I've got another six pairs or so to sell. So absolutely loads of profit to be made from that little bag there. Awesome. Talking of Brucey bonuses, like with that tape, so this battery on its own, just this little battery here. I think this was part of a subscriber deal back in lockdown, like my first deal I'd done. Came with a digital camera, came with two spare batteries. So I split them out. A uh, nice bonus, £7 plus £2.99 postage, which should go as a larger letter. So I'm not sure why I charged that, but they've paid it. So there we go, £9.99 all in, just for a tiny little spare battery. If you are picking up cameras, check out for the spare batteries, money to be made. I've got my shoes and boots, man, from my later boot sale on a Sunday. Picked these up from him for £10, really nice Air Force ones, like a royal blue and white design, high tops. Yeah, £10 into £42.49, so again, that random amount, there's been a few random amounts now. I send offers out to watchers, sort of 10, 12, 15 or so percent. They get an offer as an email, they accept it, that's why it's a random amount, like the 49p. I think these were listed at sort of £45.99, 10, 12% off, £42.49 plus postage. Really nice things, love picking up Air Force Ones, always sell nicely, uh, sell quick as well. This is from my midweek uh, boot sale. Pair of trainers, so not from a contact, just randomly on the floor. In fact, I can quickly show you. It's a pair of Reebok Classics, like high tops again, good men's size of 10. Uh, not much damage at all, or not damage, like not much wear at all. A bit of wear here, like it's worn down a bit, but yeah, plenty of life left in them. These only like three pounds, they've gone for £30.59. So great markup again for an easy posting item. And this is the big daddy, this is the big sale. So I sold that cleaning cassette tape and this is where it came from. Picked this up from Facebook Marketplace. I can quickly get it out for you. It's a Sony Handycam, but it's like a more of a professional uh, higher end one. It's the Handycam HDR HC1E. And you know it's quality when you just see it. If I saw this at a boot sale, I'd be snapping this up as quick as I could, but maybe so would plenty of other people. Really nice looking thing. Carl Zeus uh, camera lens as well, which is always a good sign. Hardly a mark on this yet again. I think they had this listed on Facebook for 150. Um, it's been listed for a month or so. I threw out there, I think I threw out like a cheeky 80 pound offer. They came back at 100. I took that offer and they were literally round the corner, walking distance. Paid them 100, it sold within its first cycle for 299.99, 300 pound plus a bit of postage. So once again, I keep banging on about paying up for the right thing is okay. £100 might seem like a bit of a gamble. But obviously at the time, he showed me it all working at his doorstep. It was round the corner. £100 into £300 after fees. Again, sort of 150% markup roughly, maybe a bit more. It also helped. Obviously I had all the extras, so I sold this cleaning tape. That was an extra tenner. 
It's got the charging cable, working battery. It's got spare tapes. It's got the bag. It's got the original box. Everything was going for it. High end. There was no competition at all. I think one person, but um, it wasn't very well like listed or anything. So ignored that. Aimed high. Got it. Lovely jubbly result. More of them, please. Last couple of sales. We're finishing a couple of badges. Got a single one here. Uh, this is from Magpie Eye. Hi George, thanks for the great video content. You have inspired me to give reselling a go. Keep sharing the knowledge, Magpie Eye. Thanks so much for that single sale. And another single badge sale. This is from Jake. There wasn't a message, but thanks so much, Jake. Your badge on its way to you. Hope it brings you good luck. Thanks again to everyone. There we go. I sold all that. Here we go, a nice table full. Really nice items. On holiday mode, people knew they weren't going to get their items straight away. But yeah, people are still buying. So this goes to show maybe that you don't have to stress about same day or one day dispatch if you don't really have to. I have my set of two days normally. I used to have three days. Not much difference between two and three, to be honest. And I used to do one day, but I used to stress out. If you feel a bit ill, then you're under stress to get out if you're not feeling that well um, the next day to, yeah, get it out. Or if you fancy a getaway, sort of, away for the holiday, recover the next day. You'd have the stress, two day dispatch works nicely. Uh, yeah, experiment with it. If you're finding it too much pressure, you don't want to stress yourself out, change to two day, recommend it. If you don't like it, change back. That's the beauty of eBay, very flexible. One day, same day, three day, five day, you get to choose. Uh, yeah, it's all about taking it a bit easier, which is what I'm planning to do after this holiday break. Taking it a bit easier, more in my flow, um, so hopefully I don't burn myself out again. Just want to say thanks again to everyone that's sort of buying from me. So the badge sales, I can't read every single one out. I did have that with the aim, but sorry if I haven't read out your sale, but I do appreciate it. I see every single one. And also to the um, subscriber gifts. Um, I've been getting quite a lot recently. Here's one, very pineapple related. I think I can complete the outfit soon. I think I've got a hat, I've got a t-shirt today with pineapple on it. Here we go. Here is the subscriber gifts. Obviously, that was from Peter A. We've got some DVD special edition covers, Jurassic Park. Uh, got this on my boot sale. Nice little key ring there. This came today, holographic sign with a little note on it. So thanks to that one. Got a Velociraptor, like 1992 original shampoo bottle. That's really cool. This is from George as well. George got me the hat. So yeah, this might be some future releases. If you follow my Facebook page or my Instagram page, did do a little post on these. We've got fridge magnets here. There we go. Then we've got like coasters with the logo on. He also done these pineapple sort of um, decoration things. There's a couple of other bits as well. So um, I've still got my hat on. So yeah, go check that out. It might be a future release, hopefully working with George. So that'll be really cool. Look out for that. And that's my first video back done. Short, sweet and simple. I hope uh, if you did enjoy it, smash that like button. Helps me and the channel out. Gives it a nice little boost. And of course, subscribe if you're not already. Hit the bell and you'll be notified straight away so you can join in on the reselling fun. Hopefully fun anyway. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully at a boot sale. See you then.